So now we did mention uh, that these podcasts are kind of open to listener uh, questions or uh, fellow podcast questions. And we do put it out there on Facebook and Twitter. And we do have one question uh, come back. I did put out the post quite late, so we probably would have had more had I done it uh, 24 hours sooner. But we got a question from Broken But Glorious Wrestling Podcast. And the really excellent content creator um, out there. So thank you for getting in touch. Thank you for sending us uh, a question. And this is open to both myself and Mags, of course. Uh, do you see the Undisputed Era losing all their titles at TakeOver Portland and moving to the main roster after WrestleMania? So, of course, they're, they're one championship down with Roddy Strong losing to Keith Lee, his uh, North American Championship, a couple of weeks back. So it's just the tag team titles and the NXT Championship to go. Uh, Mags, uh, we, we discussed very briefly some of the matches that are going to be taken over at Portland. Obviously, you've got uh, UE taking on the Bros Awaits in the tag title match. Adam Cole defended his title against Tommaso Ciampa. Um, do you think they'll be holding any gold after Portland? Uh, yeah, um, at, before I answer the question, yeah, Broken But Glorious, absolutely. Trailblazers in, in, in this uh in this British uh, content creating scene, uh, yeah, I love those guys. They've been on while we watching Badlands before. Chris uh, from from that team, yeah, uh, go and listen to their content. They they are absolute superstars. But yeah, going on to his on to their question, um, for me, it's it's all about where could Undisputed go if they retained. Uh, that that to me is the sticking point. Uh, obviously, we've we've had undisputed era the the tag team, uh, uh, Reed Dragon, Bobby Fish, and and Carla Raleigh. They've they've done pretty much everything that could be done in that uh, in that NXT tag division. There's not really many people who, who who are standing out to say that they could be the next in line to face uh, to face the guys. And again, with with Adam Cole, if he beats Tomasa Champa. Who who steps up to the plate? We've already seen him beat uh, Velveteen Dream. We've already seen him uh, face off against Finn Balor. We've already seen him uh, beat Johnny Gargano. So I don't think there's any more of those top level guys that that could possibly like take them on. But knowing the WWE and knowing especially NXT, there's always kind of like they throw these um, these spanners in the works. We all predicted Shayna would go up. Uh, to the main roster takeover after takeover after takeover yeah. and they've always found a way to kind of um keep her there um so there is always that that kind of uh chance that they don't but for me i think this is is kind of the perfect opportunity for the undisputed era to to maybe drop the nxt gold and then go up in time to maybe maybe make a mark for for some sort of wrestlemania match yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I can't think of the NXT Championship without thinking of Adam Cole, to be honest with you. He's been the champion for quite a long time now. Mm-hmm. And he's certainly not the longest reigning champion, but when I put the two together, I always think of, of Adam Cole as the champion now. And uh, to think of him as not no longer the champion, considering he's had an, an amazing reign. Now, he was, he was the wrestling with John as kind of wrestler of the year for 2019. And I think he was a lot of people's wrestler of the year for last year with not just having won the championship, but how he defended it so well. So to see him without the championship, that would be a bit of a blow, but it's got to end somewhere down the line isn't it? it's got to end and obviously you know we're building to Wrestlemania I possibly think we could have um, you know the match that we all wanted uh, last year Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano in a bit of a, a blow off match there that should have happened you know following their two year long storyline um, so it makes me wonder whether Ch- Cole could be dropping the belt to Ciampa possibly setting up that Gargano Ciampa uh, match at, at Mania and, and like you say you know, the, the prophecy is starting to crumble. We've already seen Roddy Strong lose his championship. I think um, if they want to make a, a decent run of having Pete Dunne and Matt Riddle as a serious uh, tag team, then they need to have a run as, as champions as well. And I can see them being, you know, verified, legitimate champions as well. To be honest with you, they're putting a lot of stock in, in that those two. Uh, they certainly don't have any singles feuds for them at the moment. So they might as well kind of give them a good run as a tag team. And uh, I think that the tag team goal kind of runs alongside that, really. So... It's interesting. Uh, and UE, they've been synonymous with having the tag team titles in NXT as well. So that's got to come to an end eventually also. And then you think similar to the old uh, Shayna Baszler argument, you know, they've got to go up to the main roster or to Raw and SmackDown sometime in the future. Post WrestleMania, you've always got them, uh, you know, big appearances and big debuts on Raw, SmackDown to surprise the crowd. 
following uh, following Mania, of course, and uh, there's there's no bigger names than having Undisputed Era officially debut on either Raw or SmackDown, especially considering they've been on the black and gold brand now for God, what a couple of years at least. Yeah. Um, I think come WrestleMania it'll be probably two and a half years. Um, so yeah, I'd say that you know you, you know that. You know, all four of them really can deliver. Um, Adam Cole in particular has got so much to offer. I definitely see him as being kind of the next, dare I say it, Shawn Michaels. He's got all the attributes there. He's got all the credentials. He's got all the ability. So let's utilise him, dare I say it, on the bigger stage. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that um, I, I certainly think the tag titles are going to change hands on Sunday at, at Portland. And possibly, you know, uh, Goldie is going to go back to daddy. And I think uh, Champ- <laughs> Champa could be the, you know, the second time NXT champion, possibly setting up that big match that we didn't get last year between him and Gargano over WrestleMania weekend in Tampa. So interesting. A really great question there from a Broken But Glorious podcast. Thank you so much, guys, for getting in touch. 